Frozen 2 is just around the corner, so I thought it would be fun as an adult man to rank all the songs from the original on another episode of Hot Takes. Reindeers are better than people. If Kristoff and his lovable companion Sven have taught us one thing, and I'd like to think they haven't, it's that reindeers are better than people. And you know what's better than this song? Everything. Here's a hot take for you. I don't like Kristoff. I don't like the dumb voice Kristoff does to imitate Sven. It's insulting. I also don't like Sven. So you could imagine how much I hate this song in the film. Everyone's a bit of a fixer That's what it's all about. What's the first thing that springs to mind when you think of the movie Frozen? Now what's the 800th thing? If it's the trolls, then you think like I do. They're somehow incredibly annoying yet forgettable in tandem. And as with all things annoying, they get themselves a full-fledged song, Fixer Upper. And I believe this one does run longer, which is a real shame. In Before you label me a frozen hater, and man, what a terrible label that would be, I'm not. I actually enjoy the film with all of its flaws and issues. I, however, do have one more song I can't stand on this list, and that's Olaf's In Summer because I don't really like Olaf. In Summer is the dark twisted fantasy of a snowman who's been brought to life because of snow magic, who desperately wants to be able to spend some time in the hot, hot heat, relaxing poolside with this fellow weird snow creatures that Elsa is also brought to life. We don't address that at all, how she can do that with the powers she has. It's really weird. It's definitely a lot more impressive than just making snowfall, but I digress. The true nature of the song though, is really an endurance test as to how long I can stand listening to Josh Gad sing. Good news is it's short. That fills out my complaint quota. Everything else on this list I happen to enjoy. Starting with the intro song, Frozen Heart. This is by far the darkest song all around in terms of tone and feel. Everything about it has this kind of creepy vibe, which kind of makes me wonder how early in development was this song created? I'm sure there's a behind the scenes and I can figure it out, but <laughs> this is the internet. I don't have time for that. So instead I'm gonna speculate. I think that this song was done pretty early on when the show, when the movie, still had a much darker theme to it, where Elsa was gonna be just a complete uh, POS, trying to cause havoc on purpose. We're watching a bunch of guys here pickaxing ice, but it's all a metaphor. It's all a metaphor, and it's all there. It's all on the table for you to dissect, uh, but, but, but the rest of the story doesn't really move with it, so. For the first time in forever. This is a song performed by my blushing bride, Kristen Bell. I love her, I cherish her. She's tiny, she's a princess, both in and outside of the film. She's royalty. And I dare you to find an actress who's been in more stuff, just in general. She's on everything. I see her on, on billboards. I see her in ads for like Lazy Boy couches. She's in TV shows and movies. She's all over the place. Yet, I still didn't realize she had the voice of an angel until Frozen came out. It's crazy, I know. But I like this song. I like this. For the first time in forever. It's playful. It's got some fun lyrics. We get to see Anna roaming around the castle inside it out for the first time in forever, as the song goes. Yeah, I like it. I'll take it. Kristen Bell is back on my list at the three spot with Love is an Open Door. Joining her on this adventure is Hans, performed by ah, that dude from Firefly. I'm forgetting his name. I think that's good. The dude from Firefly. In this song, we get to see our lovely princess fall head over heels for the first guy she makes googly eyes at. He's a master manipulator, and he figured out just by looking at her instantaneously how to mold her into his bidding by finishing her sandwich. He was able to get the keys to the castle while she was gone. Apparently he was next in line for that responsibility. Nobody else, I guess, worked at the castle prior to him coming there with the two girls that were locked in their rooms, basically. I don't know. We just gotta roll with it. Do you wanna build a snowman? Frozen asks a lot of hard-hitting questions, but the biggest question it asks is do you want to build a snowman? It's a beautiful song. It's a haunting song. A song that little girls sang far and wide, not really understanding the deeper meaning behind it. Let it go, let it go. If you look at your own personal Frozen list, which you definitely have made because you're an adult man like I am and we all have them, the number one absolutely must be 
Let It Go. It's ridiculous if it's not the number one on your list. This song was played millions and millions and billions and trillions of times on YouTube. It's the reason why Frozen is as popular as it is. They released this sucker months early. It went viral from day fun and everybody was singing it for years on end. Everybody dressed up as Elsa because of this song. Everybody saw Frozen five or six times because of this song. Every Disney movie since has tried to replicate the magic of this song. People often look back at movies like Tangled and say, that's a better film, why didn't it do as well? Because even though Mandy Moore has the voice of a goddess and they tried to give her her big number, it just pales in comparison. It just does. Moana had an incredible song after too. They're trying, but they can't get there. And I don't think Frozen 2 will get there either. But only time will tell. The cold never bothered me anyway. Well, that was my ranking. Thank you for watching. Comment below if you have your own list. Come on, you have your own list. We all do. And uh, subscribe if you like the channel. Like the video if you like the video. And hopefully I'll see you next time. And also, if you have any suggestions for other Disney movies you'd like me to rank songs from, put them in the comments. I think I'm going to do Lion King next. Hey,